I could go to the, uh, you know, lathe person in all the for XP. Eh, I started this, I'll leave it off. Back in a bit. Here, folks, in the back. Got a few levels out of that. this actually sold. Hesitant and you know make Duran more with armor because of the level. So let's check to see how the ladder is. It's a lot. I know already have a ton of element from another time, and yeah, th clear profit, clear profit, major. Oh, it's 
Is it to add a worker? Huh, me being AFK has gotten me that much bonus experience. In, yeah, it's not the way evil's about to do or something. I can't remember. There we go. Now we could try and make this tow letter into. So what to see what sells well and the fact that this tow letter is being made at a greatly reduced price. I could use that to make even more profit. Well wait and see. One sec. Like the amount of uh, perfect uh, high quality there. Could be higher, but you know what I can get behind that. So all I could think of, it's just, like my initial thought of, you know, what should I say when I pop back here is, nice, let's get this out on a tray. Haven't even watched those videos in ages. Need, need to probably look again at some of those MRE videos. I can a Steve MRE something. Got, basically, for those who don't get the reference, there's this guy on YouTube, much bigger YouTuber than me, so you more than likely know of him, but whatever. But uh, his shtick is he eats MREs and give, he, he does his review. He te uh, maybe it's just the ones I looked at, but it seems like he tends to uh, have the older ones more than the newer ones. But I tend to try and watch the older ones rather than the newer ones because they were more interesting. Um, but what, like for example, one of the older ones he had was 116 years old. Maybe 117 now. But it came not from my grandparents' time, but from my great-grandparents' time. And it's just like... My God. Like, the... It was this leather emery. There's two halves to it. Uh, a meat portion and a chocolate portion. The chocolate portion was completely ruined. Well, the meat portion... He spends ages, and he like time lapses it, scraping off meat. I think he time lapses. It's been I watched this like last year, like nearly a year ago, uh, like for during East uh, during the like, Easter dinner or whatever. Um, maybe just before it. Um, yeah, like he. But anyway, yeah, he scrapes off a ton of the like outer like crust because like uh, the ladder had been punctured. Which is what ruined the boat of them. Like, both sides end up getting punctured. But he, like, grinds off a ton of the unusable meat. And he does actually end up eating a bit of the inner meat. 116 year old meat. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I would not do that. I, I, would, I couldn't even touch that thing. Never mind, eat it. Like, sweet Jesus. Um, but that's the MRE. He. Uh, that's that's Steve for you. He 
he is, he is dedicated. He is dedicated. Mildly unhinged, but he's dedicated. I'm saying that in all good love. Please don't sue me. Uh, just like, seriously, eating 116 year old meat just seems a bit nuts to me. But, um. Yeah, he, um. <sighs> yeah, he d he's done that. He's also, um, I had a look at a variety of different, like, old ones. He's had a look at some newer ones. Um, and it's, it's interesting to see the rations. Largely, the older ones are interesting because they, they have some hilarious fuck-ups. Like, the survival ration, like if you're shipwrecked, it was 15 toffees a day for 15 days. It was a thing to tide you over till you got a proper food supply going. But it's 15 toffees, and it's not even 15, like, you know, lab-made toffees that are, like, just pumped full of shit, you know? No, it's 15 toffees you buy off the shelf and, you know, toss into, you know, a kid's, you know, Halloween bag. And now, okay, now fuck off, little Timmy. That's basically what they gave the sailors. 15 mini toffees a day for 15 days. It's really ridiculous. Um... A uh, funny thing is, in, in the Australian ration, you get basically, uh, you know, brandless uh, Vegemite. And apparently Vegemite's actually incredibly good for you. Or really good for you. I didn't think it was. I figured it was probably bad for you. It's annoying me because I, met, uh, I had Marmite as a kid. I every day had Marmite sandwiches. I grew tired of it, but I kept forgetting to ask for something new. I have a tendency, like, if something's not bothering me in the moment, it no longer exists. So, uh, I kept getting Vegemite sandwiches every day in school, for all primary school. All six years. Uh, for a little bit of it, I spiced it up, but only for a little bit. Rest of the time, no. Vegemite sandwiches. Uh, uh, Marmite sandwiches, sorry. Um... Only once, like, we had this healthy eating scheme in school. Only once was I able to get it to count for healthy eating. Because I remember on the side of the jar being a vegetable extract. And it's like, if there's vegetable, it's vegetable extracts. And she's like, fine, just today. Wouldn't rest time now. But apparently it's good for you. <laughs> I wave my fist impotently in her potential direction. But, uh, yeah, um, apparently it's good for you. Uh, there's also, like, th they also end up having, like, having, like, hot chocolate or various bits of chocolate in there as well. Like, uh, I remember there being a pack of, M uh, a pack of MREs, no, pack of M&Ms in it. So it's just, it's, like, these are modern rations, by the way. Um, uh, with this, um, with the Vegemite, the pack of M&M's, like, outright legitimate pack of M&M's. Uh, it's ridiculous to me, because I was just imagining, like, a generic military gruel kind of thing. Not necessarily gruel, but generic military, you know, dry, boring shit, you know? I never really put a thought to what an MRE is. Like, my own, I, like, literally the only talk I'd seen of MREs. Like, I never put a conscious talk to an MRE. Oh, Christ, four high quality in a row. Uh, I never really put much conscious talk to an MRE, beyond just thinking about the joke one of the guys made in Tavern Cast, where Bill was confusing, uh, trying to make a joke about an MRE, but he was, you know, it was an MRI. And he's describing, he's put into a machine, makes this weird sound, and, you know, you know he missed out on a meal. Um, then the other guy jokes, yeah, sounds like you guy got the chicken with rice. Uh, judging by the sound kind of thing. Uh, the, oh, actually, there's two jokes. Th that was the second one. But the other joke was, um, 
meal ready to eat or might require emergency, um, depending on who you ask. So like, that's the only like, you know, I I hadn't put much. Firstly, I hadn't put much conscious thought to it, and that was pretty much all I'd heard of. You know, ration. So I was just kind of imagining generic bland shit as much as I didn't think about it. If you get me. It's just like a feeling of a negative thought towards it. And, you know, this is what rations nowadays are actually like. You know, a pack of M&M's, coffee, um... You know... I think there's uh, hot chocolate in some of them. It's... Yeah. It's... It's a lot different to what I expected. Though I need to stop talking about coffee, I didn't get my mocha today, and I'm just like... <laughs> so... You know, angrily jizzing on myself. I wouldn't mind making some Dark Seal Rivets, but I don't have the new, the next expansion. I was thinking about getting it today, then one thing led to another and I didn't get it. Hmm, I could probably make some, but I'm not going to. Okay, um... Can't drop this for some reason. Okay, um... Actually, wait, I never did the cooking on this side, did I?
Ah, XP wise. I was wondering, like, wait, I didn't notice a quest up there before. I might, did did I really get just get a new one? Like, as in, that's like, is this the level forty-five one? No, no. The Bismarck's take on a common meal popular amongst the Galdeon's Bay dock workers. The walnut bread I can make is reused a fair bit. Pineapple Ponzi cake. The Ponzi, Ponzi cake earns its name from the fact that the total weight of the dry ingredients for the pineapples equals a single pound's Pond's cake. Pound cake? Mm. A creamy blend of rice and cheese, topped off with slices of rare, fragrant black truffle. So there was a screaming face a moment ago. Fishmen have sweet blood. Oh, wait. I'm thinking I have to go to them to teleport. I need to actually get back to actually doing quests and shit. I'm too tied up in just crafting. That's what this game is basically called, just economic simulator to me. It's like, just, just like, play a game, make fake money. The only place I can make it. Make it. <laughs> uh. Once I fully, uh, you know, I'll unlock my full potential. I, um, I'll get back to just cranking shit out here for armor. <laughs> Need to get up to level 80 using only a Realm Reborn stuff. Living the dream. Now, really, if I want to live the dream, bronze ingots all the way there. Nothing but. It's like the damn bastards that try and get all the way to, um, I don't mean that I don't know good well. Uh, gets all the way to, like, you know, max level while staying on the Padera starting aisle. Yeah. For some reason, ye have smooth butter. A smooth, fatty cream made by churning buffalo milk.
again, I don't know why buying table salt is a restricted deck. Like, you can only buy it off the fishman. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. <sighs> like, I can get, okay, maybe tables, you know, salt is a rare commodity. It used to be in the past, to the point where Roman soldiers were paid in it. But it makes, it's weird that own, you can only buy it off the fishmen, no one else. No one else will sell it to you. <laughs> it's weird. Hey folks, sorry, just had to stop for a second. Let me just end y'all. So, um, now we just need to find the sunset wheat flour. I should be able to find that here. We can try the Culinarian's Guild, and if it's not there, then we can try... Um... I'm not sure if... There's another guy that sells stuff, but I think he just sells fish. If we can't find it here, then we'll head to, um... The apartment. Dinah's Bismarck? Oh, head waitress. Glad to assist you. Uh -huh. mm. All right, trying again. Really should try and take care of there. You can go buy a brush, and I just can't be bothered. Okay, here should happen.
Okay. Where the fuck sells? Sunset. Sunset. Wheat. Flour. Seriously, it's it's also sold by Zahaga. You can also buy it from Little John. I should have paid more attention. Little John's over New Gardenia. Amphitheater. this shit. I'm white substance. <laughs> I made a lot more high quality bits of it than I had anticipated. But I am very glad for them. It would be odd if I wasn't, but anyway. I'm curious if malt. Uh, you can buy it from a shop. Never mind. 
Oh, not hit him to sell it. Sometimes you can still make money off them, even if you can buy them from a shop, but uh, you are competing against a rather fixed point. And um, it does make it a little difficult. the only right thing I can do. But yeah, um, tomorrow I will try and get some actual gameplay recorded. Run um, that Forgotten Temple or whatever it's called a few times. Maybe. See what I can do. Okay, that ended up so dramatic. Or, you know, over dramatic that drinking here. I apologize. I found I used to be able to drink, at least to myself, stealthily when I was recording, but eventually, like, r around the time I stopped drinking cola, I stopped being able to do it. Now I just can't do it at all. Or maybe I was just so much of an addict, I didn't even notice how, much, how obnoxious I was being, because I was getting my fix, man! But yeah, I would like to, you know, run that... Um, Wanderer's Palace a bit, because, you know, they can drop that spearhead, and I would like to get that. Though I figure it's probably a pretty rare drop given the 30% drop rate. No, sorry, not 30% drop rate, the 30 grand people are charging for it. Oh yeah, I'm actually in the process of uploading Final Fantasy XIV videos here. They're a bit out of order because of the new YouTube system. You can only upload 15 videos at a time, so I'm, I have two tabs open and I'm uploading 15 videos concurrently. Uh, two sets of 15. Yeah, I'm uploading 306 to 320 in one window. 
and then 322 to 336 in, in the other. Uh, 336 is just about done, and 315 is in the process. I had a third window open with some uh, Odyssey, the custom campaign, going up, but um, that, the third window always freezes. Alright, let's see. I want to see about rings. Okay, Garnet sell for that much. How much does ro would raw Garnet run? And then Garnet Ring costs what? Oh yeah, this is perfectly profitable. Uh, it would cost like 2k to make, roughly. Um... Okay, there's 300 right there, uh, 150, whatever. So 450. Uh, 950. 1,350. Nine hundred and sixty-four. So yeah, it's you know perfectly doable. Uh, but for now, let us sell what we have. Walnut bread. I need to spend the charge it for. Okay, it was 433. Um, each bit would break down two. So, something like, uh, yeah, 600. Thank you. 
Taking 1,500. Something just sound as it is. You know what? Fuck it, yeah. We'll just rebuy it at a cheaper price. Oh my guys have stopped trying to sell this. Not even sure how much is charging for it in the first place anymore.
there we go. Um, and I saw this run. We'll hold on to it, maybe we can make some out of it. and I'm back. Huh, I can do a few more. Wait, what's that person's surname Currywurst? Huh. Alright. Down before the man that let me fill up all my options, all my guys here. <laughs> uh, I've seen some pictures right now that fa have fashion before my eyes that turning put fill up in a different light. Mmm, leaky. But anyway, yeah, just like. What was I even selling? I don't remember anymore. <sighs> I suppose it was selling those uh, rings. I'm gonna be selling even more rings now. Um, Mail and buy a ton of metro bars. I got flustered on the last point there, so I just decided, fuck it, we'll edit it out. I was just commenting on something I saw there on Twitter, um, and it's just like, it's like, it might be real, it might not be real, and I'm getting flustered here. It's like, it's shit if it happened, but I'm paranoid it's in yet another bog story someone's telling. Because those are just, you know, it's, it's like herpes in high school, they're like, well no, that it, that joke doesn't work here. I was trying to reuse a joke I heard on the Taverncast spinoff because it's the only thing that po only English that popped in my head right there. Um, but no, that one doesn't work. Someone was saying, you know, like, e you know, everyone has a hunter alt in WoW. It's like, you know, herpes in high school. You know, everyone's got it. Um, but, yeah, no, um, It, it, all the same, it, bog stories people make up one way or another are rife. So it's just like I'm torn like, is this legitimate or do I need to be more paranoid right now? And it's just like, I don't fucking know. So, you know, it's, it's just a case of, you know, fuck it. 
Do this bit of auctioning in um, all that. Save a little bit on teleportation. One issue right now is I have no inventory space. Oh, I still have one of those. to sit down and just churn out the rings, but I'm going to have to keep going up and down to it. Hmm, subtenable action rings. stay the course and because it's just like the hell how do I respond to this like without just you know wrecking my bottom line I don't even remember how much it was charging for this previously whoa 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 whoa
much of a response to the dramatic price drop, but it's as good as I'm giving. Tamer of Seeds, which is like, the hell? And there's expectancy, like, you know, bouncing sunflower seeds and the like. There's tons of random bits of resources here in my bag, and it's just like, the hell do I do with it all? Right now, I'm just really hoping these rings sell. I've kind of put a lot of uh, money into them. You know, it's, it'll be embarrassing if they don't.
this, but it's not really selling. I'm not sure what I was even charging for this. Now, to be honest, this day, I don't remember any of it, which could, you know, make a note of some sort. See if they're going for that much. Seventeen. <laughs> I feel like I should have been spicing this up a bit, but I can literally only just think of making these rings. So I'm just generally hoping that it, it pays off. Really sucked for this.
Oh, okay. and everyone has stuff? Brilliant. But yeah, it feels kind of wrong just filling it up with rings. It feels like I sh should have been filling up with stacks of other things, but I don't have anvils. So, do what, work with what you got. Anyway, I'm going to go because tiredness is kind of killing me right now, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow, or later on today. Till then, love and peace.